As soon as the dangerous winds from Hurricane Irma began to subside, the city of Miami immediately dispatched cut teams throughout the city to push trees and debris off the roads. The first priority, getting a clear path for first responders to answer emergency calls safely. On a ride along with Miami Fire Rescue, one of our stops was a car accident where two children and an adult were injured at the intersection of Northwest 46th Street and Northwest 7th Avenue. All three were rushed to the hospital. Alex and Jamal with Fire Rescue say this is why cut teams are crucial. So the goal was reached. We were able to respond to this uh, incident and now they have a straight shot to the hospital just like we do now. From there, we rushed to an emergency call outside of Burger King on US 1 and 27th Avenue. So what you're seeing behind me is the exact reason why the city of Miami needs a cut team after a storm like this. You've got debris everywhere and they're trying to get to a fire that's in a dumpster beyond those branches. From the Upper East Side to the Grove and every neighborhood in between, we found snapped power poles on rooftops, power lines weighed down by uprooted trees and other debris. I mean, in some ways it looks like nothing happened and then you walk down a street like this and you see that there was a lot of serious damage. If you see lines somewhere, anywhere, stay away from it. That's why the, the city manager and the mayor and our fire chief said just to relax and let us fix things and then you guys can come outside. We're just trying to keep this area blocked off so people won't come, come down this area basically and so they won't get hurt. So we're just securing it. Since we, we, we can't get anybody here, out here right now, we already have a unit dispatched, but until they get here, we're just keeping it safe. Which is also why a safety zone perimeter has been set up around each of the two buildings in the city of Miami where construction tower cranes collapsed. Northeast 2nd Street to Northeast 4th Street, Northeast 2nd Avenue to Biscayne Boulevard, as well as Northeast 30th Terrace between Northeast 4th Ave and Biscayne Bay are closed to traffic and pedestrians. As of September 12th at 11.30 a.m., 69% of Miami is without power, and many streetlights throughout the city are still not working, and many stop signs are down. You must treat those intersections as four-way stops. From inside of the Emergency Operations Center and every nook and cranny of the 305, city officials are working relentlessly to help the Magic City recover from Irma.